And we're along with Sarah Steelman, Republican candidate for U.S. Senate. And Sarah, it's good to have you with us. Hey, it's great to be on today. Sure. And we're coming down to the last few weeks heading up to the uh, election for the primaries, of course. So uh, a lot of people out moving around, talking to a lot of people. Well, that's right. These last two weeks, I, I've been on the road constantly, and it's great to be down here. I've actually just finished up what I call my flatbed forum farm tour hmm. and been visiting at family farms throughout Missouri and highlighting the importance of agriculture and rural values. Sure. It's been very interesting. And of course you're running statewide across the state of Missouri so it's quite a bit of land to cover. Lots of land to cover on the road constantly. Yeah we're down here in the very southeastern part so mm -hmm. you've, you've uh, come quite a ways to see us down here. I have and you know I've, I've stopped at different places along the way uh, I was up at the Port Authority in Scott City, and I stopped in Sykeston. I've been up uh, in Perryville at a, a farm. And of course the drought is on everybody's minds mm -hmm. right now, and it's really hurting farmers everywhere I go. And you know, seeing those corn crops just burn up, mm -hmm. is, it hurts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, I want farmers to know that I'm going to do whatever I can if I'm elected to the United States Senate to protect farming in this state and in the country because it's vital to our security and I think people take it for granted. Sure. And we're coming down to the last few weeks so what's basically your message to the voters out there as they go to the polls to know about you? Well what I want them to know is that I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do and I'm not afraid to stand up and fight for what's right despite any political consequences or anything else because I think people are really looking for somebody who's willing to change uh, the way that business is done in Washington DC because we can't afford more of the same. And I've got specific issues like I want I support a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution with a cap on the size of government. Uh, I think that uh, members of Congress should not get paid if they don't pass a budget. Uh, I think we need to have a moratorium on all rules and regulations and make Congress go back in and look at each and every one of them and throw out the ones that are unnecessary and silly or have gone beyond the authority of Congress and those are the places where I want to start to make sure we get our economy moving again. Sure and there's going to be a lot of attention on this race probably coming out of the Republican primary of course the general election uh, will be going up against the, the eventual uh, Republican nominee will go up against Claire McCaskill the sitting uh, U.S. Senator from uh, here in Missouri, the Democrat, and it's going to be a highly anticipated race for the general election. Well, this is a critical election, and if we, the Republicans, can't uh, beat Claire McCaskill, then we won't take over the United States Senate. So um, I'm excited about getting past that primary and hoping that I can get as many votes as I can to do that, and then going on and taking on Claire McCaskill. Sure. Anything else you'd like to share with our viewers out there? Uh, if they'd like to know more information about me, they can go to sarahsteelman.com. That's my website, and it's Sarah with an H. And speaking of Sarahs, I was endorsed by Sarah Palin oh. uh, this week and really uh, honored and proud to have that endorsement. And, and she's looking at some, for somebody who's going to uh, fight to change the status quo in Washington. And she looked at my record and said, you know, I'm the one who, who's going to do it, and that's why she endorsed me. Okay, big news there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, sir, we appreciate your time uh, stopping by to talk with us, and we'll look forward Thank to you. seeing how the primary turns out here in a few weeks. Thank you very much. All Good right. to be on.